wow, what is going on here? That's a lot of liquid nitrogen. Hassan here is actually filling liquid nitrogen into this large tank, which is a very large magnet. It's 200,000 times the field of the Earth, and it's used to peer inside molecules. That's really cool. I'm Tom from Google Quantum AI, and I'm here with Ashok from UC Berkeley. Ashok, can you tell us where we are? We are at the Pines Magnetic Resonance Center at UC Berkeley, and we use NMR, or nuclear magnetic resonance, to study the structure of molecules. You want to know how the molecules fit into each other, how they interact with each other or their environment, and that's key for many applications, including in drug discovery and in new and improved materials. How does an NMR spectrometer work exactly? NMR uses a large magnet that we see here. We put a molecule into this magnet. We use the fact that the molecule itself is made up of small magnets. Now you can imagine that these magnets actually feel each other's presence. And through this, by measuring how they feel each other's presence, we can map the structure of the molecule. So the data here produced from this instrument basically tells us how these magnets in the molecule talk to each other. It's a fingerprint of the molecular structure mapped by listening to how these magnets are interacting with each other. That's really cool. At Google, we're building a quantum computer which can act as an artificial molecule and simulate the magnets talking to each other like you just described. That's very cool because the issue we have is that as these magnets go further and further in distance, they feel each other less and less. So it becomes rather challenging to map their relative positions. If a quantum computer could help for this task, that would be very useful. So we've come up with a new algorithm at Google which allows you to probe even longer range distances without needing these magnets to directly speak to each other. Let's do it. Great. <laughs>